In these last two examples, we're going to basically take all the information and put it together in one problem. So we want to graph y equals 3 sine 2x minus pi over 2. So we'll first state the amplitude, which is the absolute value of a. So the amplitude is 3. The period is 2 pi over b. So it's 2 pi over 2, which is just going to be pi. The phase shift is going to be positive because we're subtracting pi over 2, but it's the amount of c over b, so it's pi over 2 divided by 2, which would be pi over 4. We have no vertical shift at all, and we are not being reflected because the sine of a is positive. So when you have more than one transformation going on, the rule of, of thumb is this, to graph everything but the phase shift, or everything but any shift. So I'm going to first graph y equals 3 sine 2x. And so I know, uh, using the, the period of pi, so I'm going to mark off pi, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can, you can mark pi off here, or you can count all the way out to 8 and mark off pi as long as you use the appropriate scale. I'm going to call this pi and I know that um, so the period for y equals 3 sine 2x will be pi. Um, I know that I have zeros at the beginning, halfway, and at the end. So zeros here, here, and here. That would be pi over 2. I know I have a max of 3 and a min of negative 3. So I'll graph those. And again, this is my, that's a quarter of uh, the way I'll have my max, three quarters of the way I'll have my min. So I've just graphed this graph, uh, the graph of the original without the phase shift. And now I will take into consideration the phase shift of pi over 4. I'm shifting to the right. So if you're going to shift to the right, it's easier to move the rightmost point first. I'm going to shift every point over pi over 4. On our graph, one tally here, one unit is equal to pi over 4. So every point gets shifted over pi over 4. The pi over 2 gets shifted over one unit. The pi over 4, 3 gets shifted over one unit. And then the 0, 0 it shifted over one unit. And so here is my new graph. I have one cycle of y equals 3 sine 2x minus pi over 2. Uh, we graphed the original function without the shift, and the very last thing we did was shift every point over. Let's do the last um, problem. And one, um, on this one, we'll do the same exact thing. We'll graph y equals negative cosine 4x, um, and then we'll take cons into consideration the shift. So the amplitude of the original function is 1. The period is 2 pi over b, and b is 4. So we've got pi over 2 is our... is our period. And then our phase shift is going to be um, negative because we're adding the pi. And it's going to be c over b. So c is equal to pi, b is equal to 4. So our phase shift is pi over 4. So I'm first going to graph y equals cosine 4x, remembering that I'm using a period, the period is pi over 2. Now, again, you can count, you can count out 8 and have pi over 2 or count out 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to count out 4 and call this pi over 2, which means this is pi over 4. And then a quarter of the way is actually pi over 8. This would be 3 pi over 8. I'm going to graph the original function cosine of 4, uh, cosine 4x negative. So the amplitude is 1, but it's reflected. So for cosine, I used to have, so I'll call this uh, 1, and this down here would be negative 1. Cosine would have a max at the beginning and at the end, but um, since I am reflected, I'm going to have a min at the beginning and the end of the period. 
Uh, it used it would have had a min halfway of negative one, but now it's going to have a max. Okay. Now these should be open circles because they're not my final graph. We have zeros a quarter of the way and three quarters of the way. And again, if you you can either you know use a broken graph in a line, or you can just leave it blank. But I know that now I have to shift everything to the left pi over 4. Okay, And so again, if you're shifting to the left, it's easier to shift the leftmost point first. And in our graph, um, 2 units is equal to pi over 4, so every ordered pair is getting shifted to the left 2 units. So we'll do that. You see how when I shift the or the point that uh, from three pi over eight over to pi over eight, it fills in one of the original holes. That's why I suggest that if you're shifting to the left, you move the leftmost points first, and if you're shifting to the right, the rightmost point first. So this last point over two, and here is the graph of negative cosine four x plus pi. Uh, the period this value right here is actually negative pi over 4 and so from negative pi over 4 to positive pi over 4 that distance is actually pi over 2 which is the period. We completed one cycle um, over pi over 2 radians. I could continue the graph uh, by adding more values over to the right. Right now we'll just leave this as one cycle. And now it's your turn to go and practice. Um, and I've mentioned this before it's really important that you do the textbook exercises and I have um, you should use graph paper I have uploaded some graph paper for you to use in this unit and um, it just makes it a little bit easier to graph these but you should not be relying solely on my math lab it doesn't have enough of this type of problem to do by hand 